Okay, Amy, <laughs> you were asking about this and somebody else asked about this too. You asked, is there a way to better help us remember these experiences as we're in this state about to fall asleep? I find if I don't write things down immediately, I forget important details. So that's a great question, which is why I wanted to address it afterwards. And what you're talking about is doing any kind of meditative technique or hanging out in sats, which is the state akin to sleep, which is that highly psychic, hypnagogic state that we enter into when we're just about to fall asleep, but we're not quite there yet. We're still a little bit awake. You're in a heavy trance in that state. And so as things come through, it's very jarring, isn't it, to take in a symbol or take in a message and then sit up and get your journal and then write it out. You break your trance. And so the best answer I can give you is practice, practice. And here's what I did. Here's what I did. I had a recorder with me anytime I did an intentional meditation or anytime I was trying to work with the, the screen or get some messages intentionally. I would have a recorder there and I would either leave it on as I was going through my meditation, it was voice activated. So whenever I started talking, it would just start recording or, but back in the old days, I'd have to actually turn it on, but I would to the best of my ability, stay in that trance state and just click it on and start talking. Now I would not talk in a way that was jarring. I would talk in a very rhythmic cadence, not a lot of inflection, a tone and a cadence that was reflective of the trance. And sometimes it would jar me out of the trance and I'd have to go back in. But over time and with practice, I was able to do it and I was able to do it for long periods of time. Now granted, when I would go back and I would play what I had recorded, I sounded a lot like this. I was half asleep. So you, I had to sift through that and learn what my trance voice actually sounded like, but it was a good way for me to not break that connection or that trance, but also document it. Also, somebody mentioned, and I will agree, simply writing down what you do remember, even if you know you don't remember it all, builds your facility to remember more in the future. We're talking in the dream week about dream work, and the things that you can do to have more vivid dreams and to remember your dreams. And one of the most important things is to just write it all down, even if all you remember is a feeling. I'm hooked on a feeling. <laughs> start when I, Sometimes I just want to start singing. I don't know why. Anyway, maybe it's just a feeling. Maybe it's a color, but you write it down. Just the act of anchoring the remembrance of it by writing it down physically with the hand causes just an opening to take place and you dream more next time and you re or, or you remember more next time. It just builds from there. Again, this is a declaration that we make to ourself. This is a, de a declaration that we make to the world of spirit, letting spirit know I'm recording this. I'm documenting this. I am here for this rendezvous. I'm here for this experience. And again, when spirit knows that we're showing up, spirit never fails to show up as well. Spirit will always keep those appointments. But again, I close on this question with practice. Sometimes you're going to knock yourself out of trance. Keep trying. You'll figure it out for yourself. What works for you? S way back before recorders, I had journals and you can try journals. And I would just keep the, when I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I had a fantastic dream, I would not turn on my light. I would just write to the best of my ability while staying super drowsy. And then when I was done, I'd put the journal on the side of my bed. However, <laughs> I'd wake up and it would just be like crazy scrawl. And I just look for a word or two or maybe a sentence that would jar my memory of the dream. And sometimes that, that's all it takes. It's just a word to say, oh yeah, I was dreaming about a white tiger. Oh yeah. And things start to flow. I find the recorder to be way more effective. So again, your mileage may vary. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalandcompton.com. See you there.